What age is it acceptable for your children to have their first boyfriend or girlfriend or a kind of relationship? It's very tricky, isn't it? It is tricky. And well, also, it's about them growing up as well, isn't it? And I was, believe it or not, very late at developing like that. My mum always said, don't lose your virginity till you're 16. And I remember after the E17 concerts when I lost my virginity on my 16th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was, it was on the date of Dina Carroll when E17 were on. Would it be fair to say that you made up for it in subsequent years? <laughs> count on my hands ish how many um, <laughs> but yeah I was late even at school I was known as frigid and ice cold because I was petrified to kiss anyone in case I did it wrong and at lunch times when you knew you was gonna meet a guy I mean a boy mm -hmm. I would be so scared I'd work myself up so I was late at everything but yeah I sort of made up for it. I mean, we were that many. <laughs> so what about um, your kids so is junior how old is junior now? Junior's 10. ten. He's a bit young maybe eight. is he for a girlfriend? Or is he uh, he's obsessed with girls but then all of his friends are and I'm, I'm not joking these days they know so much mm. about everything I mean Too they much. talk about boyfriends, mm. girlfriends, love letters this and that but for them to actually have girls over and then boyfriends mm. I'm going to have to be strict like my mum. It, for them to stay over, they have to be at least 16. I mean, not to stay yeah. over 16 before they can even have a girl around. But to stay the night, they'd have to be older. God, it's right. I would I never mean, have I'm been just thinking with Jack. How old is Jack now? He's 14. Yeah. Um, as far as I know, he hasn't got a girlfriend. He's got lots of friends who are girls, which I really like. You know, I was very, very keen for him to go to a co-ed school because Eamon and I both went to single-sex schools. And because of that, you're really gauche teenagers. You remember those awful dances they used to have? <laughs> Twice a year, and we'd all be bumping around on the dance floor. <laughs> Nobody knew what to do. And awful, awful. <clears throat> so I like the fact that he's got girls who are friends. Friends. I'm not entirely sure there's a, a, a kind of serious girlfriend mm. yet. Mm. And also, I've learnt very quickly that you don't ask because he's really, you know, if I ask anything about that, I get cut off. He literally. gets embarrassed. Yeah. He gets yeah. embarrassed. He's quite shy, so I'm not, I don't think so. But See, I don't believe I... they're shy at 14. My best friend's yeah. got a son, he's just turned 15. And a year ago, because she won't ask the question, she's like you. Yeah. But I'd be like, come on then, show me your phone, let me see what the girls send you, and you'll be gobsmacked of what girls of 14 send boys. Uh, yeah. Underwear, well, pictures, naked, yeah. like, all pouty, like, Sexy it's unbelievable, honestly. But they have no concept of privacy in that respect, do they? The kind no. of pictures they're sending to each other yeah. is quite but scary. The, the thing is, um, like you're saying, you can't ask the question. I mean, Kira, if I ask Kira, she goes, no, yeah. no. Do you fancy anyone? No. <laughs> um, but I think... You'd know. See, yeah. I, I let Kira bring um, um, her friends around, some of which are boys, and they'll spend the day. They've even, mm. They have all spent the night in separate rooms. And trust me, yeah. we are like <laughs> wardens around the house. We do a 20 minute warden <laughs> round the house. Um, and Ray can't, I mean, Ray was very against it at first, mm. and I was saying, you know, you've got to trust them. And I had talked to them, and they knew what the rules were, and all of that. But Ray goes, well, how do you know she doesn't fancy one of them? And I go, because I'm a girl. And because look at the state of her while they're here. <laughs> she's got her hair thrown, no makeup on, she's got her slouchy, you know, tracky, um, bottoms, tracky and... bottoms. And I said, trust me, when it's a boy she fancies, she'll yeah. at least have a bit of lip gloss and she'll be going, <laughs> Mom, shut up and stop embarrassing me. I tell you, it's interesting though, talk, you were saying how your mum said you've got to be 15 or whatever it was beforehand. I mean, I grew up with Hellfire and Brimstone, so our yardstick was you've got to save yourself for marriage. Mm. And so it was much stricter. And of course, but you know, the way things have changed, you're talking about the pictures and everything on, on their mm. iPhones. Mm. Uh, but when I was bringing my own children up, um, with, with Karen and, and Paul and Sub Mike was mm. much younger, I didn't let them say, any, any boyfriend, girlfriend no. say, until they were at university, like 18. And even then, it was separate rooms, because really it was to do with my head, because I went, these are my house rules, yeah. um, and this is what I want you to do. Now, whether they crept through the night and the creaking of the boards, another thing, but at least I was putting my yardstick in place. So if you yeah. hear the bed banging, you'll be like, oh, my God. <laughs> Eamon's terrible. I mean, he would be like you. He'd be, yeah. put, he'd be patrolling the house with yeah. one of those things with a helmet with a torch. <laughs> For more Loose Women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content. Am I going through the change or what's happened? I keep getting cold sweats at night and I wake up and I'm just soaking wet. Um, not in that way. Um, <laughs> sorry. But...
Bearing in mind, to bed though, I do wear socks. I don't wear yeah. anything else, I just wear just socks. Just a pair of socks? Yeah, because my feet always get cold. <laughs> so, you sound like you're on the duvet to cover your feet. <laughs> <laughs>